Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and our mission at Tablet Pro is to make better tools for digital artists, content creators, and note takers. So in this video, we're going to be going over OneNote. If you're a brand new user to OneNote, this is going to be great for you. If you are an experienced OneNote user, then uh, this is still going to be great for you. So watch this video. Uh, it's very quick, and we've got a great set of tips at the very end. All right, so the first thing that I like to do, I don't like taking notes on just a generic page. I think that it's really uh, hard to keep track of everything. So I always, always add ruler lines. So here, I used to do these big ones because uh, large text was always easier. It's easier to write larger on the larger screen, but then I was doing a couple different things. I would input a PDF file for one of my classes. So insert PDF, and I have a Chinese class that I'm taking. So you're going to see here, this, this text, and this line are not at all the same size. So that's a problem. So here, let's go back. And we're going to change this so that the text that is on the PDF inputted PDF file and the on-screen lines are about the same size. So I'm going to choose this second one right here. Now we're going to go back and insert a PDF. And insert the PDF. And you'll notice that I don't need to rescale everything. It's about the same size. So if I were to say how to make this same line right here. We're going to select it by pressing the right click or the right button, side button here. And we're going to choose here inside of draw ink to text, how to make, this is going to be um, close enough in size where I'm not resizing everything. Now, the other thing that you are going to need to do is adjust this text because by default it's tiny and annoying. <laughs> to use. So go into settings and options. So you're going to go up here, three dots, click settings, options, scroll down here. I like ink free because it kind of has a handwritten look to it. Let's go ahead and set this down to 16. And you'll see how this this looks. The next tip is that you're going to want to adjust. I always want to be able to do a light and a thin line. This feels like a pencil to me. Uh, by default, the Surface app is set to a pressure level of 7. So we're going to go right here, and 7 is the default. And if I do the same thing, no matter how light or hard I do, this kind of has an ink look, but with the grit and texture of a pencil, and that doesn't make sense to me. I, I like having the ability to do very faint and also very dark. Now I think that the greatest range is at one. However, most of the time um, when I'm writing, I don't want to have to push super hard. And so I keep mine at three, which is where I recommend you guys keep yours as well. That affects all the other programs that you use as well. So if you have a drawing program that you're using, you're not gonna want that set all the way to one. But three works quite well. Again, so uh, for writing, this has a nice handwritten look. Okay, so I, I don't like the way that written looks, so I'm going to rewrite that, rewrite written. Okay, that's better. Um, but this one also, so I'm going to flip the pen around and I'm going to erase and go a nicer, nice, has, same thing. Okay, so we rewrote some of that. Um, that's okay. I don't actually like flipping the pencil around, even though the eraser feels kind of magical on the screen. Uh, we're going to use the pen tool. And this is going to allow us to use undo. So here we go, um, undo. And that will let us just 
if we write something and we don't like the way part of it looks, we can just undo. And I find that more useful on, on a regular basis. I find it more useful than having the lasso select tool mapped to the pen. And the pen tool you can find in the Windows Store. Uh, go to the store, go to search, and pen tool. Tablet Pro pen tool. Tap here and you guys can try it out. Um, this is for the Surface Pen and the Wacom Bamboo Ink pens. And this is going to be a really great way for you guys to add extra functionality to the pen tool. Or to OneNote. In the next video, we're going to be talking about the keyboard shortcuts, which you can use with just a keyboard, or you can use the purple OneNote artist pad. And I'll uh, show real quickly here. Let's go ahead and select the beginning, and we're going to highlight that. Then we're going to undo. And then we're going to copy this text and go down here and paste it. Then let's select that and delete it. Everyone. You can see the difference between the text there. So again, we're going to select that and make it bold. And then let's go select this text and we're going to make that bold and italic. And then we're going to put a link to a website and we'll do all sorts of cool things like a screen grab and then paste it here. Resize and all sorts of different tricks that you guys definitely want to be able to do uh, inside of OneNote that are going to make your job as a note taker much, much easier. And let's add a star to this. Woohoo, a star! <laughs> all right, I love OneNote. I think it's one of the best, most uh, enjoyable programs to use, and they've done a really great job with a bunch of different things recently. So. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. And when you subscribe, please click the notifications icon to make sure that you are made aware when we post something new, especially this next video on OneNote that has all these cool features in it. All right, you guys, until next time, stay creative.